first search for the Clips app and tap on it. Top tip, record all of your videos first and save them to your camera roll. If you're using photos, save those to your camera roll before you start making your video. Clips will open and look like this. First of all, we're going to add an introduction slide and you do that by tapping on the T icon at the top of the page. I'm going to select this in the kitchen style, but you can choose whichever one you want. To edit the writing, simply tap on it and type in your title. When you finish, tap on apply in the top right hand corner of the screen. In the bottom hand left corner of your screen, you should be able to see a play icon. Tap it to preview your video so far. If you're happy with what you've produced, it's time to continue. Tap library at the bottom of your screen. Select the clip that you want and tap on it. Next, it's time to record your voice. To do this, tap on the speech bubble icon at the top of the page and select where you'd like your text to feature. As you speak, your words should appear on the page. Sometimes the words might not appear exactly as you say them. If that's the case, tap on the clip and then the icon with the three lines on. You can make any changes to the words in the space provided. If you'd like, you can add additional items to your video. By tapping on the star icon at the top of your screen, you could add additional words or call outs. These are all editable by simply tapping on them. You can add filters to your video. Do this by tapping on the filters icon at the top of your screen. Tap on the filter you'd like to select it. Finally, to add background music, tap in the musical note in the top right of your screen. Select soundtracks and listen to some of the variety on offer. When you're happy with your choice, tap on it and select done. To export your final video, tap on the share icon and either save your video to your camera roll or export to an app of your choice.